Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cogules Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nick Snow Cogules. I'm the founder and the director of the Cogules Industry Spy Network and the Cogules Nation. A couple weeks ago, I posted my first video on me playing Apex Legends on Linux Mint. And that was a stuttery mess. I think last week's video showcased this to the fullest extent. Well, since then, I have figured out a way that I can play Apex on Linux Mint, but this will work with any Linux distribution, specifically Mint, Garud, or Manjaro, the three in which I have used in my entire time of using Linux and open source software to run the Cogules Industry Spy Network. That being said, you're going to want to go into Steam, go into the store, and search for Apex Legends, and you'll want to hit play game here. If you do not have the game, this will download the game for you. However, the problem is this is a 50 gigabyte game, so it's going to take a little bit of time. It's actually so big on my end, I had to spend a few days downloading this game. That's how big it is because of my slow internet speeds. That doesn't matter. What we can do after the game is downloaded, go into the COG or right click on Apex Legends, go into properties, and then we can do this command here, which is a Proton and DXVK command. DXVK async1 will have its meaning, I believe at the bottom of your screen right now. Mango HUD is that telemetry thing. You've seen this in the past couple of videos. And game mode run, that's running a Feral Interactive game mode, which basically does a little bit of optimizations to the host operating system. And this command flag is when the game launches, these things are going to happen. Now, we're gonna to wanna to go into compatibility and click force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. You will want Proton Experimental. But you'll wanna make sure, I'll go into tools here. It's this menu right here. And then you click on tools. I will want to find Proton Experimental. I'm on the Bleeding Edge version. You can access that by doing the same thing we did with Apex, going into Properties, and then going into Betas. You will want to select Bleeding Edge from the drop-down menu. This will download the Bleeding Edge version, which is, I believe, 80 megabytes. Let it download, and then restart Steam. Afterwards, you will want to go into Steam, go into Settings, go into Steam Play, enable Steam Play for supported titles if you don't have it already, and then enable Steam Play for all other titles, and then run the titles with Proton Experimental. Click OK, and restart Steam. After all of this happens, you will then launch Apex Legends for the first time. However, set up the settings first do not test anything yet. There are a couple of other steps you will need to take. After the settings are configured to how you like them, for lack of a better term, you will then go onto your web browser, go into Reddit, and I will be leaving this link in the description below. This is a link to the DXVK state cache to fix the stuttering in Apex Legends. And click on this Discord app link and it will download the DXVK state cache, which is about 6.6 .6 megabytes. It's almost seven megabytes. It's not that big of a cache file and you will see why. After downloading the cache file to wherever you happen to be, wherever you want it, I just placed it under my downloads folder and you can see it right here. Now we'll go into our Steam. Now, I'm already right here. This is in my hard drive. I'll go into Steam Apps, Shader Cache, 1172470, double click that, and we'll go into Delta X-Ray Victor Kilo State Cache. We'll go into that, and you'll see a version of it done by Valve. However, Valve does not distribute the state cache files. We do. 
and this version is the better version. Hold on to this and drag it. Hold control on your keyboard, bring it over to here, to the DXVK state cache. And then you'll get this asking you to replace the file. Hit replace. And then you will have the newest version of that DXVK state cache. We can now go out of our file browser and launch the game again, test the things out, see if we need to change a couple of settings. But afterwards, you should be able to play Apex stutter free. If you like this episode of the Kogulus Nation and want to see more like this in the future, you can do this one of five ways. You can hit the like button to show your support to the Kogulus Nation, hit the subscribe button to become a member of the Kogulus Nation, hit the bell icon to be notified when new episodes arrive at 2 p.m. Pacific time every Thursday. You can comment in all of our videos. All of our videos are open for comment. We are laissez-faire here. And last but not least, you can share this channel with your family and friends for organic growth purposes. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you and good night.